ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube land, it's your boy Tuglo, and today we will be having a brief little overview about Onsen Asfi. Her banner is going to be similar to Anya Frommel's banner in the fact that after the fifth multiple, you will be guaranteed to get Onsen Asfi. You have a chance of getting almost anybody else in the uh, game that is out right now, not including the limited time characters to my knowledge. So let's go ahead and take a brief look at Onsen Asfi. At plus zero at level 60 her strength is going to be 609 endurance 177 dexterity 222 agility 306 and magic 114 i do want to take a look at her at plus two her strength is going to be 807 endurance 304 dex 387 474 agility and 254 magic and then lastly uh we'll take a look at her at plus five and she will be 1401 strength with a double s tier 432 Endurance of an A tier, 552 Dexterity, S tier, 808 Agility, double S, and Magic with 324 A tier. Her HP at plus 5 will be 2570, and her uh, MP will be 189. Her Magic, or her Physical Attack, excuse me, will be 14 oh one defense of 432. Her skills, let's go straight into those. We're going to start off with her special. It's going to be a an AoE. Ultra Physical Attack with Temporary Strength Boost. Her first skill will be a AoE Mid Physical Attack with Temporary Strength Boost and Magic minus 20% for 4 turns. Her second skill is going to be a Mid Physical Attack and 30% Seal Chance with a Temporary Strength Boost. Her third ability is going to be Flash Knowledge. It is basically nulls any physical attack, two physical attacks, uh, but it excludes Special Arts. Special Arts being, you know, your special ability things of that nature so uh very quickly i do want to kind of compare onsen asfi to uh somebody else and that somebody else is going to be uh this character right here subaki uh we're not going to go over her abilities but we are or her stats we're going to go over her abilities as you can see here she does have the aoe ultra physical attack with temporary strength boost on her special the exact same as onsen asfi uh, her first ability is going to be the mid physical attack with temporary strength boost and strength minus 20%. Now that's this is where we start kind of diverging just a little bit. Her second ability is going to be that single attack as well. And it's going to be a mid physical attack with a temporary strength boost. So, you know, if you don't really have any good abilities to play, you know, you don't want to spam anything too heavy that's MP heavy. You can just kind of use this ability on one foe. Uh, her third ability is going to be a mid physical attack and it removes all magic buffs excluding assist skills so this is going to be uh pretty nice so the reason why i want to compare her to onsen asfi is because for my personal tier list that i made uh closer towards the beginning of the game i really uh put these two very close to each other you know i said that you can put uh onsen at number two and then uh, Subaki at three or you can switch them around but shout out to Primus he did tell me that uh, once both of their weapons are available for a better comparison Onsen Asfi is just a smidge bit better than Subaki and since I have Subaki I can say that uh, she is good in certain situations her first ability is very strong but uh now that we have uh, Onsen Asfi's weapon, she should be overtaking Tsubaki by a mile and a half, especially uh, since Tsubaki does not have her weapon. So if you have the ability to, let's say you know, you're know you not free to play, or let's say you're just starting, I definitely would say you know, maybe throw one or two at it. Or if you've got a lot of Iris and you really, you know, this is your waifu, definitely get that fifth step, get your waifu. But I would... 100% recommend waiting until the Kino's Journey collaboration happens, so that way we can see what kind of characters we have, what they do, what they specialize in, and see if we can fit them into our current team. Now, uh, as, I, as I previously stated, if you like this character for waifu reasons, or if you like the abilities that she does, definitely grab her. Her weapon is out right now. It's the Cannibal Dagger uh, that we can craft with the rampage um materials the biggest thing that differentiates onsen asfi from subaki and the reason why i brought subaki up is the sheer fact that i feel like subaki kind of looks at uh, attacking more physical type people and onsen asfi kind of takes a look at attacking the magical side uh you know onsen asfi does minus 20 percent magic subaki does minus 20 percent strength 
uh, Owen Sanasfi goes for the 30% seal, and if you seal somebody, you can't use any of your abilities. Well, if a magic dealer is just going to be forced to auto-attack you, they're going to do very, very small damage because auto-attacks are based off of your strength, and you definitely ain't going to be pumping out a lot of strength if you are a mage-type character. Then on the third ability, or both of them, where... Uh, where it's kind of a little like trollish uh onsen asfi is a little bit more self-sufficient she's not too big of a team player she does have the ability to keep herself alive let's say uh you're in pv uh pvp and let's just say for some odd reason your asfi casts her third ability first well you now just put two chloe lolo buffs onto yourself so congratulations you won't get hit for two people which would more than likely be otaro and um eyes so, so let's say you know you are in pve now and you're going up against i don't know some crazy boss in the story mode and you notice that they're just doing all these physical attacks you're getting stunned out the wazoo you will probably lean more towards onsen asfi just for the sheer fact that she is able to nullify two whole attacks Rather than just removing magic buffs, which is what uh, Subaki can do. If honestly, if their third skills were switched around, that would like seal the deal for like me saying like, "Hey, this one goes for magic based attackers. This one's for physical based attackers." But either which way, both of the units are really good. Onsen Asfi is definitely a cutie. I mean, bruh, look at her. So like, just you know, just to recap, if she is waifu, or if you do like her playstyle, you like her stats, whatever the case may be. If you are not free to play, or if you have just a crap ton of iris because you know you didn't pull for whatever reason on the last banner, definitely you can throw some at her. You can wait till Kino's journey, see if you like those units, and then throw them at Asfi, and then go from there. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate the support a lot. If you haven't already, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to help make the dream become a reality. Also, once you subscribe, be sure to turn on those notifications. Last but not least, check out the description box down below where you can find links to my Twitch stream, my Discord server, my Patreon page, and any social media such as Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate the support a lot. And as y'all know, that's the fat lady singing. That's the bells are ringing. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.